Welcome back to another video where we are out on the river. No longer in the marina. Feels like we're finally out in the wild again and oh, the start of summer. It's definitely been a while since we last went out cruising and we've certainly missed the fun and sun we experience along the English canals. Like Decided that we needed to get in the summer mood and leave behind all the hard work and extra long days we've been putting into our van conversion. We're getting out and about to get our barbecue on. Join us for a weekend of fun with Annabelle and friends out along the River Soul. so we can make some pizzas later. We had a beautiful barbecue last night with our friends. Their boat is just moored the other side of us. And this afternoon we're set for a fun full day. We're gonna chill, have some drinks in the sun, maybe take a little dinghy ride to the pub, go for a little excursion, a little exploring, and then come back for another barbecue and some pizza. I really shouldn't say barbecue. That's a braai for all South Africans. Ballet party. Boat ballet on the way. <laughs> so here we go again, it's no surprise. Cause we know better than to all the guys. Love and try to make it new. You can fight it when it feels so true. Feels so true. You turn me crazy like no one else. The final moment for I lose myself. And it's no use working not to fall. If you want more than to stay alive. It's been a gorgeous day, relaxing out in the sun, down at the pub, floating about on the dinghy. It's now time to refuel. We've had a little bit of barbecue and now it's time for the pizza course gonna transfer these guys from this boat to that boat. time being out on the river salt this weekend we had a fabulous relaxing day yesterday and now we're setting off heading home back to Sawley. I didn't get to do this journey when Paul came up on Friday so this is the first time I'll be remembering the stretch we've only been on it once before so looking to enjoy a good three-hour cruise when this is at the ready it's been such a long time since I even did a lot I'm barely gonna remember Rusty. It doesn't take long to be back and enamored with the sights and sounds of being out on the river. And even though we're close to a two week long summer cruise, we're definitely going to be penciling in more weekends like this. of the C 
season done. We were three boats in there, two narrow boats and a little river cruiser. So lots of help, bag of my mouth. Lots of help on the lock and not too bad. Weather on and off, sunshiny, cloudy. And you might've heard earlier, MotoGP in the background. towers, the marker of where we live and where we're headed. I imagine there is because all those boats were with us. Yeah. They're waiting. Yep. Yeah. See the people at the lock. Where are we going to moor up here? Yeah, I think there's sand on that side. Okay, so what do you want to do? I don't know. Bob around. There's Try more up on this one? Crazy river cruiser on our hands. <laughs> A little bit risky. Oh dear. I think she's trying to learn. <laughs> we were just laughing because the river cruiser came zooming around the corner and when they came past us it looked like the wife was learning to drive and just swinging about and I thought well I know how that feels except I do it in a slightly heavier and longer boat. Just seen we're back with the rowing club behind us, which means we're coming up to Trent Lock, which means we're home, the cruise is over. That was way too short. Just a taster. Just a taster. Just a starter. A starter. <laughs> because lucky for us, and one more week, we're headed out for two whole weeks. Even though we are going home, never a bad view taking this ride. Sweet home. The next week, Paul got down to some all-important prep for our upcoming trip. Morning everybody. We're going to do batteries today. Bought some new AGM batteries. These are the batteries that we went for. We went for those batteries. AGM. I've got three of them. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I've isolated all the batteries. That's all done. Let's get going. Right, they're in. A little heavy going. So I blew up my back a few times, but yeah, they're all in. So the three domestic and the one starter. And then I've just changed the solar MPPT to AGM batteries and I've changed the Sterling inverter to AGM batteries. Should be going good, it's all charging at the correct voltage and everything's working correct. There were a few things that were a bit miss wires that have been moved around that were in the wrong place um, but I've put them all in the right place I think someone fiddled um, had the bar thruster charging yeah, in funny places so yeah anyway it's all done 
gonna pack everything up. Just come home from work after stopping off to get provisions for our upcoming cruise and somebody has decorated our boat for the old platy jubes as I hear people are calling it this time around. Uh, I can't say that Paul would take the initiative to do this um, but it also doesn't match any of the other decorations around us so if Paul has done this I'll be impressed. And I guess we can't very well go cruising on the Jubilee bank holiday without giving a little nod to the Queen. I guess this means we're getting more and more British by the day. To be honest, I'm not quite sure we're gonna fit all this food on our boat, but we're cruising on a tight schedule because we have to be back for work. So I want to avoid long walks to find shops. So try to provision for two weeks in one go. You decorated our boat? Oh. Did you? Where did you get it from? Mark and Tracy, yeah. Oh, I was suspicious it was them. Have you heard what people are calling it? <laughs> Platy jubes. Ah. Okay, <laughs> okay do you wanna help me? Put down the bugles. Nah, nah, nah. You bought sheets. Yep. This holiday is not about a hotel stay, but there's no reason why we can't get new cotton sheets and make it feel like a little bit of a hotel vibe. We're in our home, hmm. but on holiday. Also, the last time we got sheets was eight years ago because you had our sheets before I met you. Hmm. <laughs> All that was left to prep was an engine service and squaring away the van. We'll come back to that soon. But stay tuned, because we've got stunning views and a trip around the Leicester Ring coming your way. See you in the next one.